Okay. Oh, I have to do it. Three. Okay, 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 okay. Max Lecter, go. My, uh, so let's see, my scenario Saskia deck, Dingus Saskia, it's so wild. Engine decks are always the worst in the Gwent. Yeah, damage has become very consistent in Gwent. Which isn't bad, actually, exchanging damage and killing stuff, removing stuff is, re like, a fundamentally good part of the game. Because damage typically trades at a worse provision, point for point, than engines or points. Like, it is easier to get a point on your side of the field than it is to take one from your opponents in terms of raw provisions required to do so. So it's a really good trade-off. Uh, but I will say the rise in popularity of all this interaction means engine decks can suffer. And this, de this deck can work. I know it can, Galthorne. We've done it before, and it was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Hide you here from assassinate. Hmm. Gotta believe, gotta believe, guys. We we can do this. This is we're on a quest. It's a noble quest. Noble quest. Okay, okay. I don't have another way to poison it. But that's okay. Maybe it's all part of my master plan. We'll just do a casual Siggy. Dylan? Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots in the old line. Man, let's see. One upside of the scenario, Sasuke is trying jackpot point slam on long rounds. Nice. Let us see. Let us see. What will we do? Hmm. That's a little rude. Little rude. We'll protect our another card. All right, come on, bud. You want to forfeit, right? You want to get out of this round as much as the next person. Let's see, Siggy is a medic. Ah, oh, really? Sure. You're at six, and you're well protected. We got Novin Gradian. Siggy, Siggy's actually kept this whole faction together. Really good. Okay, we got that out of the way. Next. Do you, do you have another one of those? I'm, look, I'm, I'm in the business. I am intrigued by second mage torturer. Do you want to play a second one, my good friend? I would be curious. I would be interested in purchasing your services for a second mage torturer. There's a lot of people out here to torture. Just one more torturer of the mage variety, please. And Rajniash, good to see you here, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Why don't you go ahead and say... Get out of the round. I just want to say, by the way, this whole deck is built on thinning. And we're still even with Nilfgaard. And all they've done is play Dead Man's Tongue. It's so hard to thin. Please, please, please. You think they know we're Salamander Lockhawk? Please. No way. Siggy makes the deck more interesting and rewards you. It, see, the problem is Siggy's reward is too high. He has literally been the best card in Syndicate for like a year. Until King of Beggars came along. So, we have two shots at the Mander of the Sala. I need the Mander of the Sala. Which card am I right about? Drill? Well, Drill, like, so if you go back to the Drill decks, Siggy's still in there. And then before Ty Drill was popular, Siggy was there. Pirate's Code was popular, Siggy was there. Line Pocket's popular, Siggy was there. The whole way through, if Drill was painful. But I think there's a real argument to say that, okay, maybe that brief moment Drill was better. But I think there's a real argument in saying that Siggy is literally the glue. Just like how Amphibious Assault keeps all of... Oh, come on, game. You'll love to see it. 
Probably worth mulliganing again because their deck is pretty busted. Beautiful. Oh, uh, it's, it's it's. I think it's very. It's worth acknowledging that Siggy's kept uh, all of it together. Just like how Amphibious Assault might not always be the most overpowered card in Northern Realms, but it's like solidly number two always. Sure, do whatever you want. Yeah, we got we we are in business. We are cooking with the bacon. I repeat, I repeat. We are bacon cooking. Loving this, by the way, because I'm not no real good removal, so this will slowly fill up. What's true? That's true. I'll do the various things online and admit you're right. Luckock, don't worry. Everyone always admits I'm right. Just kidding. Ah, uh, you know, it's good. Now, and I am willing to concede that there are times Drill's probably better than Siggy for a brief bit, but Siggy really is the thing that holds all this fat. If you remove Siggy, I think Syndicate just plummets. King of Beggars might be enough to keep them together for a time, but just it's been Siggy. Siggy all the way down. A it's AA, it's Siggy, it's Yenbo. Or Yoakim both really pull all of uh, Nilfgaard together. What else do we have? Uh Scoyatel. Dimless might be kind of it. I'm not really sure if Scoyatel has one. Maybe that's why they always struggle. Go like something like Morkvarg. Like a lot of these just always seem to pull it together. Salamander the strap doesn't care when your opponent's playing. Correct. I only care about their veil units, and this hand's very flexible. SC scenarios so bad. Really used to be one of the best ones. 14, and it's an engine. But what happened is not that the, scena the scenario got crept because elves got crept in terms of power. When elves are good, that scenario is insane because it's basically an immediate engine that starts ticking, followed by 12 points, which is really quite a bit of bang for your buck. However, elves got crept, and then they went into spells, and they got crept more. I got my dogs. Their name is Bob and Phil. This is Bob, Phil, Ferdinand, and Corgi. That's right. One of the mutated accounts is, in fact, named Corgi. Ooh, and uh, I guess I was blocking you. Let me go ahead. Bob, Phil, Ferdinand, and Corgi is in the back. But you know. And yes, for a fact, they are all good boys. Hmm. I've noticed they're playing our deck better than us. Or so it seems. Hmm. I might just play it. No. Do I lose? Do I lose? Maybe lose. I was worried about them doing this. Do I care? That's another real question, eh? Do you have the Purify? I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because it's all one turn. The only thing is you can get through my... Azar. So I guess this is a huge problem. I don't have an answer to it. I literally do not have an answer. I think we lose unless we can trick a Yenbo here by playing Kalkstein. Yeah, I think we might lose off that double cross. I was just thinking I needed to discard Kalkstein. I can't let them get it and then they double crossed on six cards in hand and sniped it which breaks my soul in half really our odds are so good on anything else no good unless they screw up and play Yenvo but I think they will I think they're or at least I think they're not I think they're gonna hold Yenvo and win the game off it I need them to Yenvo the Kalkstein and the Yenvo the Kalkstein were good I mean, if you see Cyanus, Salamander, or Azar, you probably know what's up. Okay, they didn't see the Cyana. They didn't see the Cyana. That is a, I did not see the Cyana play. That's really good for us. It's clutch. That, might, that I think will win us the game.
They did not see Cyana. That's a big deal. Oh, guys, I think we were going to do it. Unless they have Heat Wave in here, too. They probably do. I think it's just going to be Heat Wave. I don't care about the second one. Q is coming. Uh, hey, Rohit uh, Fassel. Rohit Fassel. Welcome to the Blind Dunk family. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I think I think one of these cards is Heat Wave and we lose. We haven't seen Terra Nova. We haven't seen like Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm aware. Saw Yenbo. This is sad. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. I'm honored you're here. Welcome to the family. I need you to heat wave or coo heat or like it's gonna be coo and heat wave and I think we're loose. I don't think we're fine. It's so greedy. It's so greedy. I mean it used to be fine for double cross to be sixteen or um seventeen because the assimilate engines weren't as good. Terra Nova didn't exist. Mage torturers weren't run. They ran a deploy oriented deck when then blank maker, but then slowly but surely it changed. If it's Q, maybe? Is it Q? Please? Q? I need this to be Q. Don't be mean. Q? Please, just not heat wave. Kill! Yes! It's a kill. It's a kill. Lydia, for what? Oh, did we do it, guys? Did we the bot I think we did it. I think we might have done it. Hundred twenty two points. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. King of Beggar stands alone. G G Going a tail, guys. Can we go two in a row? Probably not. Probably not two in a row, but we can try. Hand's pretty darn good. Novingradian is bricked, so I think it's worth chucking Fiztech. I'm going to take it. This is a brick, but I don't want to brick sewer or casino. It would really set back our hand here. Oh, really? That was somebody in the top eight of the Polish Cup? That's hilarious. I feel <laughs> Was that who we just played? That's awesome. Hmm. Oh, I have Siggy. I was just trying to figure out how I was going to play out this first turn. Because I didn't want to play something and get making a bomb, so we'll just play it slow. And it isn't working, but uh, let's see. Hot spot. Seems like 36. Still able to see it. I'm glad you were able to see it. Okay, so no Milva or you bricked. One of the two. Go ahead and get you ticking. Doing this for making a bomb. What did the hat say to the scarf? You hang around. I'll go on ahead. I hate that so much. So good. Did that really just happen? Brutal. Hmm. Okay, I'm comfortable. You can get your long round. I'll get my long round. Don't worry. We're pals. Me, me and this dude, way back. We go way back. 
Nothing bad's gonna happen. Don't you worry. I am a really kind and generous player. And everything goes fine when I play this game. Right, guys? Hit full combo immediately. Are you serious? Ow. Okay. I think I play tax collector and pass here and just get coins if they play out. Wait, that was your first one of the deck? Second win of all time. First one of the day, Android subculture. This could be a problem for us if they are actually full-blown traps. Well, maybe not, actually. Or if you're full-blown traps, it's going to suck for us. Getting Cyan down will be hard. But if I get it down, we win. Not worried about Veil. You smuggle. Definitely want to put you back. You guys are bad. I can only mulligan once, though. Anyway, if I hit King of Beggars, then obviously this all goes awry immediately. Big believer in this play. I really like your style, kid. Gonna do that, then we'll play out the passy, start baiting out the removal, because they absolutely are gonna want to set up the passive floor of peaches. Or absolutely set the way. So we go here. I'll even make it easy for your bowman. The front row was the better play. Okay. Perfect. Really good. Okay, Serpent Trap 1 is gone. Just need the Incineratings now. That feels a little late, but you can kill my boat. I guess. Chair. Three apiece. Kind of bricks up your board a little bit, but we roll with it. Mutated Hounds is fine. Hmm. That's obnoxious. We'll go Kalkstein here. Go. I guess it's a habit to play it here from Assassinate, but not really a real punish here. I think just not playing it to the far right is good in case they Ryan the Catwitcher Saboteurs. Could be good. Okay. Uh, okay. Only thing I'm afraid of right now is incinerating. If they have incineratings, it's gonna suck. If for some reason they figure out what our deck is. Okay. So we know most of what these are. Baldi goes down. Ooh. I'd be too short. Well, no, I get it back. Okay, so tax collector is the choice here. Play you. I need them to both be incinerating. No, double crushing? What? Are you not running incinerating? live if they play incinerating us their last play i'm gonna be really tilted because there's no way you'd play your last card being incinerating here okay it is verna cell which is fine which is so freaking fine okay so i can go up the 13 here right No, I can, go to, I can go as high as 14 here because you come with profit one. You must live. So here comes Verna Cell. It's going to suck. I have no idea if she'll live. That has a lot of damage incoming. I have a lot of units though. Tank them up, my boys. Ah! 
Two in a row, baby. Let's go. Let's go. King of Beggars stands alone. GG. Patricia with the tier or uh, the three months sub, tier one for three months. Thank you so much, my friend. Quarter of a year. Pretty solid, eh? Thank you so much, Patricia for helping me fund this. Keep it going. And all that awesomeness. No Siggy in this hand, okay. Can't pay for the tribute because it, it brings out Cobb. Well, you lose three coins, so you only get six after the first spend. <clears throat> so you can't do it again. It's a very meme -y list. Uh, Cocky Factor, this is a meme version of Salamander. So we're going, we're actually like memeing levels below. Its win rate is approximately 5%. But when it works, it's beautiful. Like mind-bogglingly beautiful. We're it's a it's we're we're going memeception. We're going a little deeper here. Okay. As long as it's not tunnel drill later, we're good. Actually, you will gotta get back to you. Might have to bear a few more losses. It's, it's it's such a messy deck. It is such a messy deck. It is so bad and so glorious. Seven, seven, eight, nine. Hold on, I think it works. Uh, no, six. I think it's enough. Hold on, hold on. I get two from you. I get six from you. It's eight. Eight puts us to 27 and Shpoke comes out, right? So I think it's this. And they're going to get some... Uh, no, they're not. Okay. All right, cool. It's main sure. All right, guys, we're looking good. Only thing that can kill us now is Tunnel Drill. But like, who runs Tunnel Drill? No one runs Tunnel Drill. Four Sun's gone. That is the most unbelievable mistake. Right? Cops find the keep while you're mulliganing in round two. We'll keep you. I don't think we're going to need that. We got the combo. So like if I miss Siggy, Mrs. R, fine. So they are Devotion. Really good for us. Hang on, the catch detail first. Cyana would work with Chibi and the band with. Or assume difference. Yep. Welcome, Germ, to the darker side of memeage. Welcome. When you go deeper into the meme, what you actually find. That's how this game works. One must go deep. Find what lurks within. All right, guys. We're rocking like a 1% chance of winning this game currently. It's going to be good. Better odds than we usually get by this point. Step one, we made it to round three. Step two, I think they might have found the way to throw. Beautiful. I'm a big fan of this hand. So. Oh, the, no, something has to brick in our hand. It's Cobb goes back. Probably Cobb Casino play you as a five. I think it's going to be the line. It's such a, oh, no, no, no. Hold on, they have the other one in the deck still. Okay, okay, okay. We have a good hand. We actually have a good hand. Okay, so actually, we did brick on Furco. We did brick on Furco. No, it's all good now. Furco, Furco's diamond dozen at best. Let's play a smuggle. Third dominant. We have no engines in this hand. This is gonna be fine. We Gucci. We Gucci. Everything's good. Okay. This is all part of my plan. Only card I'm afraid of right now is Horseman Jr. Yeah, so we have all of our crimes in our hand, and I feel really sad about that. We missed Bank. We all... Big, big miss here is Zar. Oh! 
Really good for us. Really good for us. Base there, trying to avoid easy tavern brawls. Yes, you have you made your offering. Hmm. Hey, watch it, watch it, watch it, punk. I'm going to take a gamble here. The gamble is... If they have tunnel drills, it's going to suck. But, my thought is, maybe they have Kurt. Not that, and they're using Kurt as their flex card of Horse Sun for their only, like, one or two bounties in the deck. A splash of bo a bounties, like a pinch. Like a seasoning of salt, or chili pepper, or... I don't know. The... the pitiful change somebody gives their grandkids when they really don't like their grandkids. You know what I mean. Okay, play you. I should have put you probably here just to avoid. Okay, we're looking to get Horse Sun Jr. out of their hands. This is just such good Horse Sun Jr. bait. Horse Sun Jr. Beautiful, beautiful. We are in control of this game. Now we know the devotion. Tall removal's gone. We've not seen Tunnel Drill. I'm hoping it's Siggy, Caesar, and one other card. Maybe Jacques? I want high profit plays. Give me a Siggy, and I think we're going to be in really good shape. I bet that's going to be their next play, too. Big fan of that choice. Wipe away my board. Terrible thing. There is the Siggy. We're looking really good. I'm just going to play a humble Kalkstein and meant to put it over there, but I misclicked. Okay. Next card they play should say the word profit on it. Maybe it's Kalkstein themselves. I was looking for Jacques. Philippa is fine. Last card is Caesar and we win the game off of it. Is it Caesar? If it was Jock, what you do is just not use Jackpot Germ. Instead of buffing up Cyan, you just leave it at three and pray. Oh, I guess you couldn't do it because that horse would kill it. Never mind, you just lose. Well, do they have it? Let me see it. Show me your ways. Show it to me. Come on, play Caesar. Play Caesar. Play Caesar. Hey, Caesar. Yes! Yes, I read them like a book. I literally parked my SUV in their brain. This is looking good. I'm loving it. I also appreciate when an opposing player does this. Spend all the coins they can. And they got the jackpot noise. Oh! It's so beautiful! It's so beautiful! King of Beggars stands alone! Unbearable! Good game. Our win, our win rate's like 5%. Stars have to align, but when my opponent doesn't have an answer... We've been just murdering people all day. I risk a smuggle. I, I want to risk one more mole again. I, uh, no, I don't. I think I'll just play this hand. It's a little riskier than I like, but... I think it'll be okay. Now, nah, it makes you feel any better. No one's expecting it. No one even knows the interaction I'm trying to pull off until it's too late. Uh, they suspect it near the end, but... Whew! They don't have an answer. Zero four. <laughs> hmm. What do I want to do here? I'll go here. I'll play a little more conservatively. We really want to bait, bait out the horse on Freak Show and hope they don't have tunnel drill. But again, Joanna, good game. 
I appreciate, by the way, stopping by and saying hello. Huge fan of that. They're going to want to poison it, so I think it's okay to go Saul a little earlier than I usually do. Saul always to the right of Tax Collector. He wants the Brock first. And the, the, the Plain Talk Money stream earlier went great. Went really well. Alright, here you go. I mean, I guess I don't have to rush it. We can just take our time, I suppose. How about Jesus? Good to see you here. And Fantasy Profit. Stream went really well earlier. I actually really like the money stream. That free, uh, play, premium uh, Tiger's Eye animation? Yeah, really good. Yo, Anna! Oh my gosh, with Tier 1 sub. Thank you so much. Running into you on ladder was a lot of fun. And I'm glad I shocked your mind. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'll keep the content coming. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. It was very kind of you. Alright, come on, horse son, freak show. I need you. Hmm. Let's see a Calthorn steak. Okay. Plan of Sea, no. I mean, a lot of overlap between us. Okay, you're going Horson, Kerr, Marina. Where'd you cut to make this work? I'm like looking at your deck list and I'm like trying to just figure out what you cut that I don't have. Did you just like find a really tight way. Kalkstein missing? Yeah, somehow I got Novingrad in there and Furco. It's a good take on the deck. I'll be really blunt. Interesting. I like your take, my friend. It's a good one. Alright, this over profit hurts my soul. That's what I need to do, though. I like your take, Kelthorn. I really do. Only risk is uh, Marlene with Nilfgaard. Besides that, it's pretty good. I'm not I'm not sold on the Marlene. But then again, like, is it even worth bothering? I don't know. I like it. You ask, yeah, okay, you cut. Oh, Saul Cox, and that's our big difference here. And like one or two other small things here, there. No passies, for example. Nice. Really interesting take on the bottom end. I like it. Oh, I really like Sol though. He's an 18 for 7 and he baits removal. Confess, I'm, I'm a little biased towards Salt. Good hand. Um, okay. Tax Collector's out. Smuggle is out. Vivaldi's a huge hit. We only get one mulligan next time though. So we gotta be really cautious because Cyana is not in our hand. Yeah, I know, I see. And then you make and then like some small adjustments to the bronzes to make Novingrad more consistent. Versus my engine greed. I like it. Alright, we have to use our one mulligan here and we have to open Cyana. Uh when is more likely for me to brick hard? No, we have to let Cyana be. Okay. We'll play the hand. Diana's one in five cards. We have no protection for her. I see we're traveling to Brick City again. Fantasy Profit, I like Brick City. I don't care. Sometimes the memes require a little bit of dreams and a little bit of luck. I'm someone who likes to deliver on the promise of the impossible. I'm someone who just has to give the people what they need. And sometimes what they need is not tier one, 67% win rate in the jackpot. Sometimes you need a meme on a meme that gets them one of the best laughs in the game. That makes them remember who they really are inside. I'm willing to be that person. I'm willing to be that person. I think I might literally just play Siggy and see what they do. That is a little sus. A little sus. Makes me a little bit nervous. I assert dominance of Siggy. Go. 
Hmm, seven's good. I'm hoping they go Horse Sun Jr. This is good Horse Sun Jr. bait because it's such a dangerous card to see so early. And if I go Caesar, it's gonna be kind of a dumpster fire. Ooh, Kalthorn. I got a challenge for you if you want to try something really wild with the deck list of yours. Stolen Mutagen's Gellert combo would work really well in it. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. It's super weak, you see. Cleaver doesn't worry. Like, Cleaver messes up classic Salamander, but... Beautiful. Thing is with this deck, if you win round one uneven, it's a guaranteed win. Yes. I mean, I think it works for this too. You just that uh, it's almost impossible to win round one uneven. That's the problem with these decks. What did you do to me? Hit it? Okay. You had ST a moment? ST is the one, like, ST is the deck I would like to run into, or faction I want to run into more often. They don't have a lot of answers to this. Nice. No, I, I'm traditional Salamander. I like Freak Show as well. Maybe I'm going too heavy on engines, but... Aw, oh, yeah. Give me that Savola. Savola is good because if they need more coins later on, more limits, more options, I guess. King of Beggars is out. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Hmm. Wow. And you want no coins in your hand? Do you not have Flying Redanian in your deck? I guess not. Put you here. Just trying to keep these guys alive. Keep them spaced out. Sea Jackal's great. I'm so glad Siggy has Intimidator, or else it'd be too strong. Or it would be too weak without it. Because Siggy definitely needs more value these days. Casually playing as a 4 plus 4 10. So basically a 5 profit 9 guaranteed. Mm mm mm. I like your style. Oh, look at that play, that Bincy. That Bincy. That Bincy. Unbelievable. Hmm. How do you guarantee Cobb comes out on the first Salamander deploy? Great question, Fantasy Prophet. I really like that one. Give me one moment to put a poison on Bincy and make him nervous. And then I'll explain it to you. So, how Cobb works is anytime you spend a tribute up to nine coins, he refunds them. So, he gives them back. So, what I do is I pay, play no tributes, or pay for no tributes the entire game. No way. Well, they blew jackpot. Maybe we do win this anyways. Oh, I'm feeling really good, guys. I'm feeling pretty good. Because now it's... Um, I do so dreadfully miss my darling little sis. Got the little jackpot noise. You go even further. Actually, it's kind of important to put it at 13 here. Salamander can at least produce one coin by himself. But the important part is Cyana is going to go ahead. I mean, at 13, I mean, you need a lot of coins here. Kalkstein is gone. Guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. That's right, baby. That's right, baby. It's so beautiful. Cobb stands alone. Unbelievable. GG. Nailed it. Two games you want. Space Marine 2 and Quadratic Dream Star Wars game. Nice. 
I think the next game I'm pumped for, like really excited about, is Happens the Best of Us. It happens, dude. I might try Elden Ring. I might try Elden Ring. I had a lot of trouble with the original Dark Souls in terms of I hated when I died how long it took me to get back to the spot I died at. It really ticked me off because I could beat everything on the way. And I was like, why am I running so slowly? I, I, if I need to lose a lot to get tilted and sometimes it happens buff, but not today. <laughs> Let's see, but in Dark Souls, I could beat some of the early bosses, but then when I would like kind of venture for your place and I died, it would be like, oh, you have to walk all the way back. And I'd be like, yeah, I could do that, but don't I have better things to do with my life, you know? Like a lot better things. Significantly better things to do with my life right now. Rumsoft, guys, favorite dev, all time, my number one, my number one. Super giant games. Super giant games. Oh yeah. I'm a bit bushy. I don't think I think it would be more of a front or um from soft, but with that said. What better things do you have to do? <laughs> Super Giant's excellent price, so good. Darren Corbs. Oh my gosh. Darren Corbs is a god. I'm actually learning. He has a video tutorial for how to play good riddance from Hades for guitar finger picking style. I've been working at that for like three weeks now. Give me like a month or two more and I have I'll have it down at a pace I like. Like it is so he's so good. So good. You sure don't want to get rid of Enslave 6? Please, please, please. Pretty please. I don't have an answer for Damien. <laughs> Which might not matter. Might not matter. It depends on how things kind of shake out, you know? Okay. Any of the, okay. I don't think I'm allowed to mulligan because Cobb's in the deck. It is a master a transistor. I, it jives with me. I, I can do transistor personally. The, the game I think I had more trouble with was Pyre. I think I just thought more was going to happen in Pyre and it didn't. And I was like, oh, okay. And I think it just, it was that early comment. They're like, these are the Hydras and I'm like, oh, that's super cool. You got this lore in the background. They can't, maybe they come back. Maybe we're going to fight them in magic basketball. The rules will change. Like, no, it's just, just magic basketball. And I was like, oh, it's just magic basketball. And they're like, yes. Just magic basketball. I was like, okay. That fizz tech was really bad. That might cost me the game. We'll see. Yeah, and honestly, I should replay Pyre. The The concept of the game was great. It was one of the few games you can get to the final boss and fail, and the game continues. Okay. Magic basketball. I need them to start yeeting out those that hefty. Hmm. I kind of feel like this is going to have a bad ending for us, guys. That's a problem. Okay. You need to just do a bunch of coups. Yeah. Yeah, I think we I think we lose, guys. 
Unless they really screw this up. But I think it's unlikely. They'd have to really start going to town here. Hmm. Hall Knight. I need to actually finish up Hall Knight. The last Metroidvania I got really into was Blasphemous. I don't know if any of you guys even know what that is. It was really good though. Something like that. I don't know what coins eat out. Getting caught up in this conversation in chat. Yeah, Darren Corp is a god. What like unbelievable. Also Wayne June. Uh Wayne June who voices The Ancestor from Darkest Dungeon. So good. Pog Blasphemous. I love Blasphemous. I play I play a lot of games and I'm really picky. I'm on the final boss on Blasphemous and I just don't feel like grinding it out. Maybe I'll do it on stream one of these days and just get it done. But it is. So good. Hmm. If we didn't finish Hollow Knight, absolutely worth it. Yeah, I actually own Hob or, um, Hollow Knight. I gotta get it done. Do you see, DLC was way too hard for me, so I quit. Blasphemous or Hollow Knight? If it's Blasphemous, I can't wait to get to DLC. Just need to finish up the final boss on the normal run and then redo it because they added all kinds of free content to the game. I just wish their, wish their merch was better. That's my biggest complaint. Like, I'd be interested in their merch. Okay, look, man, I need you to start opening up some fire. Thank you. What is in my deck? I wonder if I can bluff it here. This is obviously me just making up crap. That's all this is. My, this is me just trying to get them to blow everything here. Okay. Yep. I'm bluffing. That poison bluff is like worth a million dollars right now. Okay. Force Unleashed, genre, but it shoot it. Uh, it's fun. Hey, you know what? If it's fun, it's fun, right? I mean, do you just go to town? I'm going to just do an educated one. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble it here. The gamble you can already tell what it is. My hope is you can't actually get for the scarab. With trees and gone. Good. You can't ordell it. You can ordell these. Fine. Imperial, okay. Need it just not to be removal. Like a payday here would be Devastating. I love the placement of that. The Roblox card. Okay, okay, okay. Is it not Ardell? No, they don't have Ardell. It seems good. Well, 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 well. What do we have here, my friends? What do we have here? Oh, yeah. There we go. GG. 
Shout out to Pseudoname81, Ahmed Ali, Winston, and McRandar for all their unbelievable and ongoing support on Patreon.